Welcome back guys, uh, today we're going to do an uh, attempt to do the engine swap on the go-kart. Brought it in, I'm going to start turning some wrenches and stuff and uh, see what happens. So here it is, got the racing plug, adapter, G-stack for the intake, cover for the intake. The header, they even sent me a little piece of candy. Got the tools all laid out. Hopefully, we don't need more than that, but I'm sure we probably will. Got the engine, got everything laid out. Good to go. Not sure I had everything. Alright, so let's get started. There it is. So pull it out. Um, yep, we're gonna save the boxes just in case it doesn't work. We return it. So So what we're going to do first is install all the bolt-ons to this and then we're going to remove the engine over there and swap it out. So first thing first is we're going to undo the spark plug. So go ahead and pull this. This one? Yep. Pull it. Pull it hard. There you go. <laughs> Wiggle it. There you go. Okay. Now grab the tool. Over here. Oh. So, there's two ends that have a hole and it has comes with the lever. So put it in. So we changed because, yeah, this didn't work. So, go ahead. Take it off by hand. So what is this? Spark plug. A spark plug. Uh, open it up. You guys see the difference? Oh, okay, so we got this spark plug. Where's the box? It's auto light racing. Where's the part number? Alright, right, so here we go. Solid. it. Alright, these are ratcheting.
hold it. Grab the nuts right there. So the ratchet didn't fit. So you got this. Hopefully it doesn't fit either. <laughs> so you're gonna use this. Right. Go ahead. The other way. There you go. Bring it back out and do it again. Put the exhaust on. Looks really good. Facing plug now. We're gonna install the intake and the inject or the jet, the fuel jet. I think. Let's see. It's a 38 and a 39. We're gonna upgrade to the 38 for now. All right, guys. So <coughs> this is. Yep, this is a intake box. We're gonna remove the intake box and under this house first. Gotta get some clamps. Yep, no, I think it, yep, this is the intake box. So let's start. Try to remove it. Okay, yeah, air filter. I just set it to the side for now. Alright, yeah, let's undo this hose first. Let me go get some clamps. Alright guys, so we got the stock air box off. Stock filter, so start removing this. Yep. Alright guys, like really this is the first time messing with a small engine like this. So I don't know what I'm doing. But let's find out together. Alright, so gotta remove this this one and this one. Let's see, this is probably smaller. Look what size are you using for these? Uh ten. Okay. Remove these. They're good? Yeah, so all you have to do is just slide it out. There's a throttle, throttle body. All right, so let's get the, this one. And I think we're gonna have to undo one of these. Okay, yeah, undo this one. And probably this one. Alright guys, so here's a V-stack here. This goes straight here. There was this little piece that we're not undoing a lot of stuff. So it's just basic bolt-ons. I'm going to keep the governor on for now to figure out how much power it's going to have. But that's the way it goes. All right, get the, the nuts that you pulled from there. Put them in. Now grab the filter. No, no, the filter. Oh. The intake filter. Open it up. Where's the knife? Use the knife. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Okay. Alright, that's it. Install it whatever way you want it to face up down to the side. So let's see. So got it in, we gotta make sure this clamp is tight. Then grab the filter. Oh you know what I yeah, yeah, grab the filter, install it, and then we're gonna install the the jet for the fuel. And we'll be ready to uh, hopefully swap it and Make sure it goes. goes. I'm not too sure, so let's find out. Alright guys, so I'm not sure. I think this is where the jack goes. I'm not too sure. Let's find out. Goes. Let me see. You guys see it? 
Alright, so I'm gonna get a flathead, pull it out, and then swap it with the other jets, which we're gonna use a 38. Yeah, so here it is. I don't know if you guys can see it. The stock one's on the right, the one we're replacing is on the left. So let's put it back in, cover it back up. Alright, guys. <clears throat> so three bolts undid the cover and clean it up and stuff. Make sure it's good. Loop up the chains. Alright, so there it is. One, two, three, four. Four bolts. The engine comes out. Uh, just gonna double check, make sure I undo the wires and stuff. Make sure I don't rip anything off. And then Right under the plate from here, or right under the chains, you know, screw all the bolts, we remove the chains. And, uh, yep, we got the throttle cable on hook, and then uh, the wires, uh, it's ready to unbolt, undo the chains, and then, yep, and then the main bolts. All right, guys. We got it all removed. Time to undo these last four bolts. Pull the engine out. And bring the other all one. All right, in. guys. So I got it all unbolted. About to remove the engine. Clean it up. Clean up all the pieces, the chains, and everything up. And then make sure, hopefully, everything fits. All right, guys. So it is side by side. Let's drop it in. Alright guys, thanks for watching, that's uh, for today, make sure you stay tuned for the next episode, I gotta order a clutch, and then uh, we should be good to go, I'm gonna order the clutch right now, alright guys, see you next time, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button,